is not dropping a reported $24 million getting a rare pink diamond implanted in his forehead. Lil Uzi Vert sometimes invests in normal things like real estate. Earlier this month, it was reported that the one of a kind rapper dropped $4.4 million on a super modern, glassy mansion in Bell Canyon, Los Angeles. While it only costs a fraction of the rumored price of his forehead bling, the new home is absolutely gorgeous and today we're gonna take a look. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Samir Woods, better known to us all as Lil Uzi Vert, is a rapper, singer, and songwriter who famously rocks his own unique style, including face tattoos and piercings, and an androgynous fashion. His tunes often talk about dark subject matter and take on an emo approach to rap, while he gained attention with the release of his debut single, Money Longer, back in 2016. After this, Lil Uzi scored a recording contract with Atlantic Records and went on to do successful collabs with other rappers, including the likes of Migos, Gucci Mane, and more. The Philadelphia native had a studio album in 2017, which went double platinum and debuted at number one, while the album Uzi released in 2020 it was one of the most anticipated in hip hop, also peaking at number one on the charts. Lil Uzi Vert spends his money on some pretty outlandish things. He's anime obsessed, loves his cars, even getting them custom wrapped in anime designs, and owns wheels like the multi-million dollar Bugatti Veyron. Not to mention, he got that rumored $24 million rare pink diamond implanted in his forehead. All things considered, his estimated net worth is somewhere around $16 million, and he most recently treated himself to a gorgeous contemporary mansion full of walls of glass and sprawling open spaces. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer and I'm bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. I noticed a bunch of you guys watching our videos aren't subscribed, so be sure to hit that subscribe button or ring that bell and help us get to 1 million subs. We post a new video daily. Today we're taking a look at where eccentric rapper Lil Uzi Vert calls home, including his brand new purchase in Bell Canyon. And his new modern mansion is so impressive you don't want to miss it. If you're interested in checking out Lil Uzi's crazy car collection, we've got it covered for you. And if you want to know the story behind his forehead diamond implant, check out the video over on our famous fashion channel. The said diamond will be implanted in Uzi's forehead. Bet you never heard of that one before. As always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat. And now, let's get into this video. So we all know Lil Uzi has quite the flamboyant sense of style with no gender limits. In 2017, he donned that sheer and lacy Valentino pirate shirt for the Billboard Awards, but since then we've learned how playful the rapper really is in his style. He even described his wardrobe to Vogue magazine as a veritable teenage girl fantasy that includes Hello Kitty beanie hats and cutesy Mickey Mouse handbags. But will his new house be as unique as he is? Prior to his new Bell Canyon mansion, I'm unsure if Lil Uzi owned another house or is just renting properties. We do know that in 2017, the rapper was spending some months living out in Hawaii, which was confirmed in an interview with the Fader magazine. At this time, Lil Uzi was living in Kailua, Hawaii, a spot on the island of Oahu in a luxury estate at the end of a long and winding, super steep driveway. He had invited those from the magazine in to interview him and they got a glimpse of the rental home, which was beautiful and modern, much like the one he just bought, which we'll all see in a moment. He had moved into this Hawaii rental mansion at the start of 2017 in January, along with a dozen or more friends and associates and lived there for over a month. The first gate had access to the private neighborhood and secured the property behind a key code, while there was a second gate that led into the main part of the property and had to be opened from someone already inside. What we know about this sprawling estate aside from the foolproof security was that it had five bedrooms, retractable glass walls throughout to take in the Hawaii breeze and an asking price of $15 million. Not to mention, it was super contemporary and had perfect views of the ocean. Now Lil Uzi has moved on from leasing places and treated himself to an estate he purchased that is spacious and eye-catching, costing him $4.4 million. The light-filled mansion is located on the outskirts of Los Angeles, about an hour and a half drive from Beverly Hills, in an area called Bell Canyon. Bell Canyon is located in eastern Ventura County and is a guard-gated equestrian community that provides seclusion and privacy high up in the Simi Hills. The rapper's new home 
home was built in 2017 and sits on a sprawling lot of almost one and a half acres, offering perfect views of the scenic mountains and the San Fernando Valley. I'm not always a fan of super modern homes, but this is an exception. It might just be one of my favorite celebrity pads that I've seen. Lil Uzi's abode is secured behind gates at the top of a driveway that goes up a hillside, and the mansion consists of two floors, spanning just over 7,000 square feet of space with panoramic views of the city lights and mountains from nearly every room. There are five beds and 5.5 baths, and according to marketing materials, his new home is a one-of-a-kind architectural masterpiece. There are stone accents, many walls of floor to ceiling windows and glass, complemented with ash brown hardwood and sleek finishes. From exterior views, Lil Uzi's estate looks like your average multi million dollar contemporary home, but inside it's pretty unique like the rapper himself. Once past the front door, you walk right into the combination living and dining room space, which offers soaring double height ceilings and an open layout. To one side, there's a staircase to the upper level, and the dining area is positioned on that side as well, next to a bank of glass sliders. The living area is set up with a plush white sectional sofa, and there's a lot of extra floor space to do whatever you'd like with. One of my favorite rooms here might just be the kitchen. I love the light ash wood cabinets and gold fixtures, not to mention the walls of glass that have palm tree views. Countertops are sparkling white and of course the space is full of expensive appliances. There's also a U-shaped island that doubles as a place to dine as it wraps around a built-in banquette with white marble table. Above the living room there's a massive loft-like gallery overlooking it. There's a piano in one corner, a couple of lounge areas, a sleek office space, as well as glass sliders out to a long balcony. The roomy covered terrace has a floating staircase down to the pool for easy access. Upstairs, the four guests Bedrooms also have access to their own ensuite, each of which is designer styled, and most are decked out in a ton of white. While all the guest suites are impressive, Lil Uzi's master bedroom retreat is definitely the main attraction. His suite alone is as big as a large apartment and offers a fireplace set in stone, a TV, and it's surrounded by more floor to ceiling windows and a lounge area. His deluxe attached bath has herringbone floors, a double sink vanity, a tub, and massive two person glass enclosed shower. Something tells me Lil Uzi is gonna love of getting ready in this luxury bathroom. Outside, the rapper can entertain and host plenty of friends and family thanks to all the space and amenities. There are features like an outdoor kitchen and bar area that's tucked on the side of the house behind the indoor kitchen, which also has views of the mountains. Then the patio attached to the giant living and dining room is decked out with strips of fake grass, making things a little livelier. Of course, we can't forget about my other favorite part of the mansion, and something that's definitely a major feature here, the pool. Lil Uzi's pool reminds me of one of my favorite Las Vegas resorts, the Cosmo. It's modern and glamorous and partly tucked under the second floor overhang of the house, providing some shape. His turquoise pool and attached spa is definitely something to seriously envy. Even from the pictures, it just looks refreshing and expensive. So now we've taken an in-depth look at Lil Uzi Vert's brand new home in Bell Canyon. What did you guys think after seeing his house tour? Love his mansion or not? Like I said, I'm usually more into traditional homes than super modern ones, but his is amazing. Something about the open spaces, the color scheme, and especially that pool. The home would make me feel like a princess if I lived there. Be sure to tell me what rooms you like best in Lil Uzi's mansions down in the comments. Now I know I haven't done this in a while, but I've been reading all of your comments on our house tours lately, and I'm gonna be shouting you guys out again. I love sharing what you guys have to say about these gorgeous celebrity homes. These are from our recent Avril Lavigne house tour. Seth freaking Roland said, I love that her houses are so simple yet stunningly beautiful in and out. I totally agree with you, Seth. I loved all of Avril's homes and even though she downsized for her current Malibu one, it's just as impressive and I love the open layout. Then Badendor wrote, I love Avril, she's one of my idols. Thanks, Kara, I love her houses. I loved Avril too and she was one of my faves growing up. That's one reason I was so excited to report on her houses. And finally, Anderson Prasad set. Nice. I like all houses, but current one is amazing. Now, if you guys want to see which Avril Lavigne house is your favorite, be sure to check out that house tour too. And tell me what you thought about Lil Uzi Vert's homes down below. If you haven't yet, go subscribe to my personal channel because I would love to get to know all of you better. We'll link you my latest video for you to check out. All right, all right, all right. Oh my gosh. I'm going to start talking about David Berkowitz. So, like I said, David Berkowitz. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye.